Did the system fail Helen Jones? She's a Jacksonville grandmother who says she wanted to adopt her grandchildren who were in foster care, her care, but she was never given that chance. So what went wrong? She expresses her concerns to On Your Side's Ken Amaro tonight. Helen Jones is fighting to get custody of her two grandchildren who were in foster care. Jones, who has 21 grandchildren, says her daughter may have failed the children, but she did not. She says before she could file the petition for adoption, the children were adopted to another family, and now she's heartbroken. I love my grandkids. I have 21 grandkids, and I love each and every one of them. In Helen Jones' West Jacksonville apartment, you will find picture after picture of her family. I've always tried to be there for my grandkids. Jones' daughter, Yolanda so Reed, has struggled repeatedly okay. with substance okay. abuse. I was late, started engaging on my case plan. At one point, she was homeless. She made mistakes, true enough. I'm not upholding her mistakes, but the children and the rest of the family and the, and the, the, the family unity should not have to be torn apart because of bad choices she made. Earlier this year, Reed's two boys, ages one and four, were removed by the state and placed in foster care. I've been asking for these children the whole time. In September, Reed's parental rights were terminated by the court. They claimed she had abandoned the children and she'd failed to make a court appearance for a hearing. In November, the boys were adopted out of foster care. They put in the court order that no other relative was interested in getting these children, which is not true. Not true. No. The state's protocol with children in foster care is reunification with family first. But Jones says before she could fill out the petition for adoption, her grandchildren were adopted out. It hasn't even been a year and you've already fully adopted them out without even considering my family. And that's what hurts. Yes, because we want those children. We've always wanted them. So did the system fail Helen Jones? The case is now being reviewed to determine if the proper steps were followed. I did check on what happened to kids who are removed from a home for impending danger, and 45.9% of place with relatives, 12.9% end up with non-relatives or friends of the family, and 41.1% are assigned to foster care. Back to you. Ken, thanks so much.